This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clueless State Trading Frank. Very exhausting week, a very profitable week. On October 23rd, 2019, approximately 9.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the shores of the Hudson River, Jersey City, looking over our glorious New York City the city on the hill as they like to call it i never knew why they call the city on the hill there are no freaking hills in new york city but anyway any of you and we have many members who are going to be listening to this from the flatlands of the east coast to the highlands of the west coast um welcome full disclosure this is purely for financial education not for any solicitation or advice and we shall begin. So I believe you're on the wrong monitor, so I will correct it. And we have a very loyal new member, old friend, Dominic, in the picture tonight. And uh, are you, do you see the spy chart right there? I do. Okay, good. I had it on, we are on multiple screens, so I had it in a wrong screen, so I do apologize for that. I'd like to keep this as short as possible, but that's a bad promise that I've made to people over and over again, and every session goes on for like an hour, hour and 15 minutes. But this one, I'd like to keep it in 30 minutes, period. So what we're going to do tonight is, of course, give you a little background on the markets and show some options charts. How about that? Let's get excited. Let's get excited about trades that we have done, trades we have presented, and trades you might not have done, but you can still do. Markets are a fluid animal. It's fluidity. That means there's always opportunities. It doesn't matter if you miss one trade. It's like, oh my God, I missed Tesla. It's up 50 plus $50. Okay, so what do you do? Beat yourself up? Yes, you beat yourself up and then you say, what can I do after that? Because Tesla's probably going to go higher. Just like Biogen was up 32 or 40% pre-market and the calls went from $1.55 to 60. Like, hello. Like, wake up for a minute and listen. If you don't listen to yourself, then I have nothing to say. So what are you seeing behind you is the actual SPY, not the dynamic E-mini futures, which are slightly down right now, about a quarter of a point, which is this. This is the actual SPY chart. The actual basis the underlying basis of the U.S. financial stock markets. That's the reason why I put these things up. KBOT, you're in. One of our most loyal members who keeps on trying, keeps on learning, does some good stuff, needs to do more. And KBOT, as I always say, connect on the ACS advanced coaching sessions. You are too smart not to make a crap load of money. There are stupid, 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 and highly intelligent people in our group who are making far more money than the highly intelligent people. It is not about your brains. It is about the action that you take. So please, connect with me, Kbot. You're a good person and make it happen because i like every single person who's in our group kind of just kidding all right so here's a spy so this is the actual market what is happening right now live thousands millions of dollars being traded in Globex financial markets. How exciting is that? 
and you can actually see it visually. See, I'm a pretty simple person. People who know me, they know me. If you're breathing, if you're able to sleep in a nice bed, if you love your family, if you have a family, um, and they say hi to you in the morning, you have a chance to walk your dogs, you have a chance to drink a cup of coffee in the morning, you have a chance to stretch in the morning, move your hands. Well, you should be grateful to God. You should be grateful it's a great morning. And you should be grateful there's another day to make a crap load of money in the stock markets. And of course, with the help of true estate trading and all, and I mean that, it's a fact. Doesn't matter if the markets open down 100 points. It doesn't matter if the markets open up 100 points. You always have an opportunity to make money. Isn't that what it's all about? It's not the money. It's what you do with the money. Your family, your charities, your pets, whatever you want to do with it. You want to buy a Ferrari. You want to buy a Lamborghini. Fine. But whatever you want to do with your money, you have to make the money first. So every day that God gives us is a blessing. If you don't use that blessing to your best efforts, then God will punish you. I'm not being an evangelist. I'm just telling you what I believe. There is a higher power. And people like us who believe in God says that's the higher power. To use that higher power to be your partner to make a crap load of money in the markets. But you can do that if you don't have the tools. And I keep on providing the tools every single day. End of the story. Think what I said. I don't care if you're 20 years old, if you are 50 years old, if you are, hopefully you're not 15, because I don't want any teenagers in my group. Um, if you're 70 years old or 80 years old, that is how it works. To stop being frigging scared every single time. The markets are going higher from a technical standpoint. And if the markets are going to crash and burn, hopefully I'll be there to alert you all beforehand. That's why you pay the small amount of money that you do. And I thank you for that. That's not the money that makes me pay my bills. Believe me, I live in New Jersey, highest property tax in the country next to New York. But that's my job. So I'll keep on doing it. Question is, are you doing your job? There is way too much money that's being made. And what kills me is I feel, I might be wrong, I hope I'm not wrong, that so many of our members are sitting on the sidelines not making that. Why? Because I'm not producing the right content? No. Because you, in your world of demons in your head, are just sitting on the sidelines. Not buying Tesla. Not buying VAR, V-A-R. Not buying EW, up almost 18 points right now. Not buying KSU a couple of days ago, Kansas Southern. Up 12 points on a day, the market was down 150 points. Not buying Apple, which goes up almost every day. That's your problem. I want to help you with your problem, but I don't want to be lying next to you, stroking your head and saying, oh, please get off that sad, depressive phase. You don't need medicinal drugs to get off your depressive phase. You need one fat win, 
200%. And that's going to give you the confidence or not buying one call of Biogen at $1.55 or two bucks or that you can sell at 60. That's like winning the actual lottery ticket. Think about that for a minute. We have a new, I haven't actually seen him as a member, Seti. Hi, Seti, can you hear us? Seti, can you hear us? Sign yeah, us. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Did you sign up as a member? Oh, not yet. I'll do it uh, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Remember one thing. I don't need your little money. I have yeah, shown yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. enough. Let me finish. I've shown enough trades that will make you rich if you actually trade on it. Doesn't matter. The fact is that if you really want to learn, sign up as a member. Join the group where the real things happen. If you need help, sure. If you need help, welfare, as we call it, I'll give you a little break. No problem. So just make it happen. Don't just say, oh, you know, I was too busy and this and that. No one is more busy than me. I work 14 hours a day. Let's move on. And on top of that, I actually like you because I did the first complimentary uh, advanced coaching session with you. And you were actually very smart. And I like that. I like smart people in my group. That's what makes America great. Smartness. <laughs> just keep, just do it. It takes five minutes. Don't give me excuses. That's sure, all. Sure. Yeah, it, yeah. Exactly. And I'm not busting on you. I'm just telling you, okay? Anyway, let's go on. Um, all right. So um, bottom line is that uh, here's the broader picture. The markets want to go higher. So in between, the market is going to pull back a little bit, this and that. What I like about this market is if you pick the right selective stocks, then they are going nuts. Like I said, earning season's gone wild. It's like that old video, you know, a uh, girl's gone wild. That guy made like frigging what, Dominic? Like uh, like 30 million bucks or whatever. Just, uh, he made lots of money. He made lots of money. Just like videotaping girls, like running in bikinis, like the market's going wild. And why it's going wild? is because there's selective stocks that we are picking, not all of them, not all of them, I'm not a bullshitter, but a lot of them that are going nuts. So if you buy a basket of one call here, one call there, and like I said in my last video, like, you know, you buy like, say, okay, 400 bucks in this basket or 500 bucks, then you get a ally in technology. Uh, sorry, that one I actually forgot to post. Or Edward Life Sciences that's up seventeen dollars, a Tesla that's up fifty. All of a sudden, your whole makeup changes. I mean, your makeup, your mental makeup. All of a sudden, you feel like a lion, not like a sheep. Sheep's are great. They make great sweaters. Lions win. They eat the sheep. You think I'm BSing? One great trade will make you feel so good that your next three trades will be great because you will go in with confidence, not with fear. Why do traders lose? Because they go into a trade with fear. And like I said, even if something is down, if the charts are working right, whether it's Boeing, whether it's Tesla, and this is Tesla's daily chart. What about the chart now oops all you need guys i've been doing this for a long time as a professional trader i've been doing it since 2011 as somebody on wall street as a trade on my own on personal side always got a problem with compliance the cops so no, you can't trade that you can't trade that okay fine so i left wall street not because of trading i left wall street because i wanted to spend time with my kid so if you want to get this type of stuff where it's at 250 and uh, now it's at 305 overnight, you got to be in it. Spend $300 to buy a call, one call, 
one call. When I say a basket, do whatever you need to do. I don't care how much money you're trading with. I have traders who don't even ever, they just text me. These guys are making, literally, I'm not joking, members who have been with me for many years. They don't talk to me every day. They don't bother me during the day. Then they, all of a sudden, I get a text. And they're like, um, and I bet you I'm going to get one or two of them tomorrow. Sometimes they allow me to post it out there. They're making a hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars a month. A month. Multiply that by twelve. That's two point four million dollars off my trading alerts. That one or two trades that they do makes up for any other losses that they do. Wake up, guys. You don't need to make. Yes, you do need to make $100,000 a month. But how about making $2,000 a month? That's $24,000 extra money off a small base of trading capital that you can do only if you are in the game, in between losses and gains. That's why I say, hashtag wake up wake up don't go to bed with fear about a trade that you put in go to bed with a with the confidence that you are going to make money now if you don't have that in your head i can assure you i can give you the best trades in the world which i do most of the time almost all the time and you will still lose money if you don't have the mental calibration that i can guarantee you go into a trade with the desire to win not the desire that how much you're going to lose practice that in trading practice that in your own life you will be hugely successful despite all the ups and downs that we all have to incur in life all right enough of that crap anyway markets are good earnings season is going well president trump is not tweeting great stuff okay china uh, u.s trade deal going well brexit it's a mess because why you know why brexit is a mess because they're freaking english I know London. I know England. Would you like me to talk English? They're all smart people. They ruled half the world for centuries. But they're a mess. We don't care. We do care, but we don't care. It's not going to kill us. What's going to kill us if we completely walk away from a interim China deal because China is the ultimate superpower, economic superpower next to us, which means they are a economic enemy, not an enemy, economic competition. I don't like using the word enemy. So what are you going to do? This is another one of the, that I put out there tonight, Edward Life Sciences. This is the second time in three months that we have nailed this baby. You want to know what Edward Life Sciences does? Good. Don't ask me to explain it. I know it. Go on Google. Go to their website. Learn it. These are the companies you never hear about on CNBC. When was the last time? SETI. Dominic. KBOT. Did you hear about Edward's Life Sciences other than at Plutus Hit Trading? When was the last time you heard it? I've never heard about them. Exactly. And this is a stock that is what you call wealth makers. These are the actual ballers. Okay? The stock was 60 bucks back on January 26, 2015. We started picking it up around here, back and forth in 2018, 2017. 
88, 90 bucks. It's at frigging 225. I could draw lines on this chart, which will show that this chart will probably go to $400. And if you want to know what the company does, a real company that makes America great because U.S. business is what makes America great, like I always love saying, not just waving flags and screaming and shouting at a, at, a, at a Donald rally, okay? This is what makes America great, the strength. Stock is going a lot higher. This stock will hit 300 in the next two or three quarters, which is the next three or six months, the way they're going. So find out what they do. And we told you guys to buy it. You don't need to look at the weekly chart. Even if you bought one call, tomorrow you'll be jumping like a happy monkey with a Armani jacket on. Okay? This is where I told you guys to buy it. 224. It's at 240 almost. And went to 242. And I asked you to buy the calls which were pretty cheap, five bucks. Not that cheap, but cheap. So your 500 is going to be at least a thousand bucks tomorrow. All right, guys. So let's take a look at a couple of things here. Um, we'll look at a couple of charts and then we'll look at a couple of options charts. I don't want to get in too deep. I want to keep this thing uh, kind of short. 9.33 p.m. What time did we start? We started a little after 9, so I want to keep this short. So one of the ultimate small cap, really small cap stocks that we have traded over the last two months, and this is an options chart, is GameStop. I've talked to some people, including Sadi and other people. Like, you want to make some real money, put some real money in this thing and sit there. In the meantime, you can trade other stocks that can move faster, buy a couple of earnings things. And if you don't have that much capital to trade with, well, go steal your grandma's chest. Because you do need some capital to trade. You can be expecting to come in with 500 bucks and make $10,000. Yes, it does happen if you were in Biogen, which I'll show you the options chart, which is sickening, but that's luck. That's luck. That has nothing to do with technical analysis. So we're talking about the real deal, like the daily work of living. So I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. Here was Thursday. The 10th of October. And I can go back a lot back, actually, just to show you all. Okay. Beginning of October. And I've been on this stock, like, big time. GameStop. I've been on it big time. All right, so I'd like to ask you a simple question because you all are smart people. Where is the price here? Sadi, I'm asking you. Uh, no, Dominic, don't answer. Sadi, I'm asking you, you. Where is the price here? Oh. Can you can you can you speak? Don't waste my time, my friend. It's late at no, night. I, huh? 0 0.12, is that what you do? Say it in American English. You know, you work for Microsoft. You're a smart guy. It's 12 cents, 10 yes. cents, right? So talk like yeah. a normal person. Don't talk like a uh, like a tech uh, uh, a genius. So it's like 10 cents, 15 cents, right? Okay. Don't say okay, yes or no. Yes. It's Good. 12 cents, yeah. Yeah. Don't take me the wrong way. I'm a real guy. No, but I'm tough. Because if I'm not tough, 
yes. then my traders won't learn. Not that they're stupid, but they were stupid when it comes to the market. So don't just say 0 0.1. What does that mean? Just say 10 cents. Yes. So 10 cents, 12, 15 cents. Where is it, Where did it go to? I'm asking you, where 70%. did it go to? 75 cents. Yes, almost 80 cents. What a pure math yeah. guy. When If something goes from 15 cents or 10 cents, we didn't buy at 10 cents, by the way. Like, let's say 15 cents to 80 cents. What is the percentage return on your profits? If something 100%. goes from 15 cents to 80 cents, what is your percentage return? Around 800%. 800% from 10 cents it's 800% but from 15 cents to 80 cents is how much hey you work for microsoft um, don't let uh, 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 don't like Saudi and Adela uh, like be disappointed in you because I'll send this freaking video to him trust me I'm connected all right so the bottom line is something goes from 15 cents to 80 cents what is the percentage return 75, uh, 750 percent. 15 cents to 80 is. Okay. Uh, three, three, uh, 350 or 400 percent. Hold, hold on. 80 divided by 15. I was right. It's like 500 percent. So you're close. Now, in order for your profit, let's say you bought. 100 contracts, 10 contracts, whatever it is, it's 15 cents. It's 500% net return. What is your actual profit? Your actual profit is not 500%. Your, what is your actual profit? Let's see your math knowledge about trading. What is your actual profit? 15 cents to 80 cents is 533%. Okay. 533 percent what is your actual profit in your pocket if you bought it at 15 cents which many of our traders did what is your roi return on investment for one contract i uh the profit is 65 cents so Wrong. if i buy 10 you fail, man. It's six. if i if i send this to satan and Adele, he'll fire you tomorrow what is your net percentage profit ROI percentage and I'm asking you this because this will help many other people figure out if you're going to be an options trader if you're going to be in the stock market you got to know percentages a stock go a option goes from 15 cents to 80 cents that's 533 percent what is your net profit in percentage terms um, if you don't know say I don't know I don't know Good. It is 433%. Why? Because you originally had money at 15 cents. So you always have to take 100% off the, the original thing. So if something, let me give you a simple example. If you bought something at two and it went to six, what is your net profit? Uh, if you bought an option at two mm -hmm. and it went to six, it's three times more, right? 300%. It's, it's 3x. What is your net profit in your pocket? 2x. Thank you. On the second try, you actually passed the math exam. So however you got into Microsoft, you're a smart guy. You're actually really smart because you lied. Just kidding. All right. So yes, 2x. That means your profit is 200%, not 300. Just the same way. When something goes from 533%, that means your net profit is 432%. You understand that now? Yes. It's not you understand. Most people don't understand that. So let's get back yeah. to some. Uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you for participating on this uh, little experiment because that's the way life is. Now, let me ask you guys another thing here. Let's say you bought an option at four. 
and it collapses because of volatility in the market to two. How much did you lose? Somebody else answer. 50%. Thank you. You lost 50% of your money. You dollar cost average down here, you bought more at two. But in order, if you didn't buy more at two, if you had to go back to four, how much would that percentage be? Uh, come on, guys. A hundred? A hundred, yes. So you had lost 50%, but you have to go up the hill and make a hundred percent to get back to break even. Get it? Yeah. This is law of numbers. More people understand this stuff, the more they'll be successful options traders. So you need to work harder because you have to go up 100% to go to break even, okay? To get your money back. But if you bought more at two, so if you had 10 contracts at four, and you bought 10 contracts at two, what is your cost average right now? Ooh. You guys have to understand this, otherwise you are gonna keep on losing money regardless of how many trades that I give you guys. If you bought 10 at four, and I'm saying dollar cost average at two because this is where it's gonna turn, what is your av your average cost was four when you bought it? Then you bought 10 more at two. Like I said, entry two or something like that. What is your average cost? 250? Nope. Come on, guys. Three dollars? Yes. And why are you answering that question working on Microsoft? I would fire you if I interviewed you. Like, <laughs> The fuck it? Just say three bucks. That's what makes America lose to the Chinese, to the Indians, to the Ukrainians, to the Russians, to the Martians. Because our kids don't know math. <laughs> Come on, you can't do a frigging average. I know you guys can do it. What are you scared? Like I'm a big guy, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm trying to help you guys make money. It's called the law of averages. Something four plus two is six divided by two because you bought the equal amount. That means your average is three. Bingo. You know, my wife says something. He said, everybody criticizes the heck out of Donald Trump. Like he's so stupid that blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's that stupid that he's keeping every single political party from Turkey to the Saudis to the white nationalist uh, 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 frigging uh, 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 racist uh, Nazis uh, to the Republicans happy. He's a frigging genius. Anyone who can do that is a genius. You don't have to like him, but he's a frigging genius. You don't think he can do averages? So as a trader, and especially as an often trader, you have to understand percentages and averages. So when you go to bed tonight, say, God, please help me to understand averages and percentages. You think I'm laughing? I'm not laughing. This is serious stuff. This is how we make the big money. This is how we dollar cost average. And boom, the market goes up because my charts are showing that's what it's going to do. So $3. So here's the next test. And please think before you answer, okay? So you bought 10 calls at, let's do this. Let's do this, simple thing. And if I can ever teach you guys anything, then this is the only thing. Let's say you bought 10 calls, sorry. And this is not a Harvard MIT test, okay? So you bought 10 calls at four bucks. How much did you pay for it? Four hundred. No. Four thousand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Four thousand. So I'm giving you some high numbers. 
you don't want to go into a trade like with 4,000 right at the bat. Unless you have more money, yeah, sure. Beautiful. You make a lot of money if you follow my trade. So 10,000, 4,000, yeah. So 4,000. The call goes down to two, which happens a lot during the day. You buy 10 more calls at two. How much does that cost you? And Tim Savage, a new member, please just feel free. And uh, and Kbot, next time, please have a microphone because you're smart. I love hearing your voice. And please do that. So 10 calls at two. How much does that cost you? 2G. Thank you. 2000. What is your net outlay on that trade right now? $6,000. Thank you. How many contracts do you have right now? 20. What is your average cost on the contracts right now? $3. What? $3. Did you say three or eight? Three. Good. You kept your job. Because I was going to call your boss tomorrow and just have you fired. I heard eight. Just kidding. All right. So $3, right? The stock yeah. turns around. The stock turns around. So your original cost was four. You bought it down at two. Now your average cost is three. The $3 calls, as the stock turns around, as the option turns around, you can see that behind you, goes to six or goes back to, let's say it goes, yeah, goes to six. What is your, what is your actual return on your money? What's your return on your money? You put 6,000, now you have $6,000 in. $12,000. Exactly, exactly, 12,000 bucks. Now I'm showing you some bigger numbers. You can do with 400 or you can do it with, you know, like a take out one zero. So instead of 12,000, you could have made 1,200. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the essence. And thank you for participating in this game, the real game. Is what I'm trying to impress upon you is that not that you have to enhance your mathematical skills, but the volatility in the market allows us to do that almost every single week. If you do not dollar cost average, you cannot make money. Yes, there are certain times that the market just keeps on going higher on a straight line, but very few times. Most of the times the market does this. And that's why dollar cost averaging is so important. Now, many other services out there will tell you, you know, you always sell your losers. What's a loser? A loser for 10 minutes? For 15 minutes? For a day? Because those services are teaching you the old fashioned way of trading where something falls and never goes higher they don't they don't they seem to live in a world which they live in a cave where they beat their wives with a big hammer like the flintstones we live in a world called the modern age you have to dollar cost average if you don't get used to this idea, you will never make real money. Yes, I can give you short-term trades intraday that will get you 40, 50, 60%. But if you want to make four, five, six hundred percent on your money, you have to dollar cost average. What is the term that I use when I'm putting out certain ideas? What is the term that I use? in brackets, in parentheses, when I say the entry one, entry two. Can anyone remember? Let me Scale in. Oh my frigging God. 
you just got into Harvard School of State Training School. Exactly. Scale in. What does scale in mean? Like scaling a fish up in Maine? Yeah, sure. That's great. Actually, I love it. Scale in. What does scale in mean? Scale. Average down. Yes. That means that you have to buy your first lot. Let's say you want to buy four contracts. So you buy your first one or two, regardless of the price, initial. If it runs up a lot, sell it. If it pulls back a little bit, the charts are fine, scale in. Thank you, Dominic. Scale in. Guys, what I'm trying to explain on this beautiful evening, that's outside my door, by the way, on my patio overlooking the water, is some simple dynamics and logistics of trading that's going to make you money. Markets are a difficult place. When was the last time you walked over to somebody that you didn't know? You don't know the market. I don't know the market. I know the market, but does the market know me? No. When was the last time you walked over to somebody on the street and said, hey, I'm uh, Sinat Sethi. I'm Tim Savage. I'm Dominic. I'm Kbot. Can you give me $500 uh, dollars right now? Because I'm very smart. I'm a very nice person. That person is going to slap you, knock you down, swear at you, or call the police. So that's the market. The market is not going to give you free money unless you attack the market. The only way you attack the market is through charts. It's through understanding what it does. You don't get this type of frigging return like it's buying a penny stock. Like, you know, you hear a lot of people say, oh, I was in the market. I lost uh, $10,000 uh, buying this penny stock because my uh, neighbor who drinks with me told me to buy this biotech stock at three cents. It went to 40 cents. That kind of shit does not happen. And when it does happen, you got to be quick. I've done some of that. I bought things at five cents and sold it at uh, 40 cents. In fact, I'll put some of them out. They were actually on the uh, on on the pot world, marijuana world. Seriously. So that's what I'm trying to get to you guys. Get used to this. Most of you are still stuck in this old way of thinking that if you buy something here, it'll definitely go up here. No, 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 no. Most of the time. Hold on one second. Most of the time, I'm trying to get another. Uh, most of the times, it's a zigzag up. It's a beautiful example. This company, by the way, which I keep on showing you guys, Seattle Genetics, we had huge wins on this, huge wins on this. Not on this call. Actually, we had cheaper calls before. Monster. Monster. Okay. So it's going to do this. It's going to go from $1.20, more than double, 100%, come down to $1.40, stay at $1.62, and then go all the way higher. Probably a lot higher. Markets are volatile. Just get used to it. Let's take a look at uh, stocks that are going nuts right now. Things that we have asked you guys to buy. Things, in my opinion, are going to go higher. Tesla. Daily chart. And I'll be honest with you. I didn't buy that much about very little because I had no clue what was going to happen but the charts were good so now the stock is at 306 where where is 306 
right at this gap somewhere around here is it possible that the stock goes back to its highs possible am i saying it will i have no idea but this is stock to watch something changed big time it's almost like a person rejuvenating themselves from being a hardcore drug addict alcoholic to becoming sober that's what tesla is doing so this is serious shit okay guys so wake up now the stock is in play lots of hedge funds lots of mutual funds that looking at tesla and saying hmm i didn't believe you before now i actually believe you next up edward life sciences that none of you ever heard of many of my old members have heard of this is a stock that is in my opinion going higher what is this pattern what is this pattern and these are longer term charts you know what is this flag. yes it is a thank you so much tom it is a complete bull flag in a big way yes the stock can vacillate back and forth but these are the things that if you care about your children you can put a few shares and buy it and put it away and your kid's going to wake up two years from now or when he's older he or she is older and say mom and dad i actually like you all right so how about liking yourself and trading the freaking options on these type of things make your family proud it doesn't matter what you did before what do you lost five thousand what do you lost fifty thousand i've lost more money than you guys can count years ago trust me and i made back three four times more through hard work through learning through one determination that the u.s stock markets are the best in the world and i can do it only if i put my mind to it so if you don't want to put your mind to it well like they say in new york go screw yourself in the meantime actually don't put your mind to it just buy my alerts and the arrows boeing big winner sold a bunch at the top pull back bought a bunch more there I love it. It's a cup and handle. Every single idiot on TV, God bless them, they're million dollar idiots. So, what did they say? Boeing's done, Boeing's done, Boeing's done, right? When the stock was falling on that bullshit rumor about that pilot, instant messaging. Hey, he could have been drinking while he was playing the simulator. Hey, you know how much fun it is to play a flight simulator? Have you guys ever been to an arcade? Where you played a fight simulator and have any of you guys done that i'm asking a serious question tim savage have you ever played a flight simulator i have never played a flight simulator try doing that it's the biggest fun thing ever and except if you have a couple of drinks it's more fun okay so pilots do that all the time there was no validation that that pilot who was instant messaging saying that he lied to the regulators boeing didn't tell them to lie to the regulators i told you guys that in the last video boeing since i told you guys to buy it from 325 went to 350 ladies and gentlemen i hope you're not sleeping that's 25 dollars our calls went up almost 70 to 110 percent depending on which one you bought Boeing is going to go back to 370. After that, we shall see. That's a lot of money. That's another 25 to 30 dollars. Now you want to sit around and listen to the garbage coming out of the media, people who hate Boeing. Boeing is the finest American company in the world. They don't lie. Yes, they made mistakes. They didn't attempt to kill people. So wake up and smell the fresh cabin air in a 737 MAX.
that is going to be on flight by December or January. And the stock is going to be at 400 plus. And if it's not, I'll say, okay, I was wrong. Boeing, Boeing is going to fill this gap. See this gap? 420. and 409 410 to 420 will get filled so you want to make yourself a little bit richer buy a couple of calls months out into the 400 to 420 gap and you tell me a couple of months down the road what happens every single indicator of boeing technical and fund, uh, mostly technical, that's what I'm looking at, is telling me buy, buy, buy. It's not what Kramer says. It's not what your head says. It's not what your aunt says. Oh, I'm never going to fly a 737 MAX. Okay? As if they know what the hell they're flying. When was the last time you walked into a plane and said, oh, excuse me, what model is this plane? Friggin' buy Boeing. Let's take a look at uh, Roku. Let's take a look at Biogen, which was a monster. So anyone know why Biogen went up so hard, so fast overnight? And we actually had no idea. We just said buy the calls before the earnings. Does anyone understand why it went up like that? I don't know. Okay. Anyone, anyone does? I put it out on Twitter anyway. $1.55 calls went to 60, 270. That's 6,000%. 6,000%. You don't get that type of shit ever unless you have a massive buyout on a company. The stock went up almost 40%. And this is a major multi billion dollar company, not a penny stock. One. 55 when you could have sold it at close to 65. Can somebody give me the percentage? If you bought one call at $155, one call, you would have sold it at $6,500 the next morning. Uh, 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 please tell me you don't feel too good about that. Actually, don't feel too good about that because most of you probably were not in it. I hope some of you were in it. And if you had 10 calls, that means you put uh, $1,555, you would have made $65,000. Am I making this up? This is what happened on an alert that we put out there, guys. Now, if you don't, if you think you're a real winner and you're walking around in the morning like in your nice, nice little suit or your sweats or your hoodie or whatever you're wearing, and you think you're so great, well, you're not great because you were not in it. That means you're a loser. What you don't win, you lose. The stock is still going to go higher. $155 would have netted you. $6,500, $6,500. And if you put $1,500 in, $1,555, it would have netted you $65,000. $65,000. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't feel too bad about it. Oh, next time. Yeah, next time? Next time doesn't come like that. What I'm trying to say to you all, yes, you might have missed it. I understand that. But if you're not in it, you will never get these moves. Edward Life Sciences, Guidant Health, Seattle Genetics. These are the type of companies that will get bought out. So if you're not in it, you will never, ever make this type of money. You want to be a loser? I say it in a bad way. I say it in a good way. But I'm going to say it. You want to be a loser, always like staying away from buying one call of something that costs you $155 or $300 and you don't know what's going to happen the next day? Well, you're a frigging loser. 
because you made this type of money, even $155 to 6,500, your confidence level just shot up like a monster. Monster! Think, guys, it doesn't matter if you're 30 years old, 50 years old. I'm an old man. I'm like 50 plus years old. And I look pretty damn good. I probably look better than most of you guys. I'm just kidding. Don't ask my wife that. Okay? Seriously. Wake up, guys. Wake up. Gotta be passionate what you do. If you're not in it, you will never get these trades. So what did Biogen do? It went berserk. Nobody expected it. Why do you think, can anyone tell me why the stock went up like this? Like uh, almost um, 320, one second, 320 divided by where we bought it, 230. Went up almost 40% because, oh, did anyone answer me the question why it went up like that? I know Dominic was uh, fair enough and he said, no, he didn't know. K-Bot, do you know why it went up like that? You are in the medical profession. Please, don't keep me up I later. I think there is some drugs. I'm sorry, what was that, sir? Uh, they, they released some drug. Uh, no, you're close, you're close. Tim, do you have any idea why it went up like that and the calls went up 6,000%? Okay. Yes, you're close, uh, uh, um, Mr. Seti. And by the way, change your going to the website and change your name to a like a smaller like a handle. You know what I'm saying? You go into the website. You know, once you sign up tonight, like go into the website and change it to Sai or whatever you want to call yourself, Mad Dog. You know, I don't care. Like, do that. Okay. So this way. You don't have to put your whole name in there. It went up because of Alzheimer's. Does anyone know what Alzheimer's is? It's an Alzheimer's drug that they failed in their clinical trial and the stock went from 340 down to 220. And this is a major, major company in the biotech world. So Alzheimer's. Does anyone know what Alzheimer is? Does anyone know what Alzheimer's is? Actually, I will give full credit to Kbot. Kbot, please frigging get a microphone so I can, I can hear your voice. He said Alzheimer's medication will seek approval from FDA. Yes, Alzheimer is a serious, debilitating disease where your your loving father or your uncle or your mother or your aunt, who is getting older, all of a sudden started losing their memory. They can do basic tasks. Like go to the bathroom, like walk outside. This is serious stuff. This is serious. And they said, you know what? Their clinical trials, this was a fail and the stock just gapped down big time. Hundred some points. It stayed in a band between 245 and 220, which means nothing. This stock is a thousand dollar stock. And they basically said, you know what? We're going to re, re seek the approval from the FDA because it does work if you give higher dosage. And I really hope it works. Alzheimer's is a very sad disease because you see a intelligent, smart person. It can happen to any of us. Well, a lot of traders do have Alzheimer's because they're so freaking scared all the time. All they're doing is running for their diapers. Seriously, that's why it went up. So the stock pulled back from 320 to 280. And if you look at it from a technical basis, buy, buy, buy between 2670 and 280. Because the stock will again fill that gap. That is 60 points. Go buy some time and push it out. I believe that Biogen has something going. I believe in American companies and the innovation that they do. 
that's it guys just want to showcase nvidia because we talked about it in the last webinar the stock is attempting major breakouts now texas instruments yesterday had crappy numbers we didn't tell people to buy it you didn't hear me say txn but here's your gap that's what it hits it actually hit 201 listen to my last video it breaks this we're going to this is a major company it breaks this band that's 70 points 125 to 195 that's 70 points the stock is going to run can it happen i think it can happen did tesla happen did anybody out there many other services you follow i'm just asking you guys did anyone ask you to buy any any tesla we did on the earnings thing did anyone that you follow ask you to buy tesla i just need a yes or no no kbot seti you follow other people i know that i checked you out no right now uh, like i don't did actually any... follow Instagram. okay tim Things savage that. did anyone ask you to buy tesla like we did before the earnings guys i am spending time with my son while trying to listen to you so he's crying and also i can't really participate i did not buy tesla nor did no, i no no that that's fine uh, i'm sorry about your son he's crying because he didn't buy tesla no he's I'm only just... eight months he doesn't care about tesla so uh yeah I i'm don't. just listening guys don't, i will don't, participate don't, some don't, other... don't, don't get too serious you know i'm kidding around i was just <laughs> asking a question yeah exactly <laughs> trust me my son is going to be 21 and i change his diapers more often than anybody else in the world uh, and um, I, I know what you're going through, and that is the real reason why we live in life for our families. Anyway, what I'm getting at is nobody tells you to buy things when everybody hates it. So if, if Tesla can do this, why can NVIDIA do this? That's all I'm saying. On that note, I will end this. Thank you for attending. The last thing I'll tell you, because we're all in the same boat, guys i'm not anything special yes i understand the market's better than you guys maybe i'm tougher mentally than most of you guys okay i don't freak out if i get a parking ticket or if a tax bill comes or if the irs calls me and say hey you made this money in trading profit you gotta pay this much you always have to fight get into the mode of fighting the market the market is not your friend clarissa trading is your friend you my charts or your friend. Start believing in them, start acting on them, have skin in the game, small amounts of money, doesn't matter. $800 can be $8,000, it can. So please don't make excuses in your head. The stock market is going higher, but doesn't mean every stock is gonna go higher. It means the market will allow you to get into a few stocks and every single one of these charts that I look at is pointing higher. Not usually higher, but higher. So if you're going to be scared every time the market's down 30 points or 40 points, look at my charts, take a deep breath, and get in where I, where I indicate. You want to be on the sidelines like you have been for years and years and missed out on the huge, huge, huge monster run in the market. Fine, that's the past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. That's what I tell myself all the time. Do not be a prisoner of your past when it comes to trading or your life. On that note, God bless you all. Thank you for attending. We love referrals. Get a lot of people in, in, in our group. You're gonna make a lot of money as long as you mentally and technically calibrate. That's all, God bless you all.